What's going on, guys? So, Final Fantasy VII Remake had some new info on, uh, on a few characters drop today. And they look pretty cool. And a little bit more info on Nero. So I wanted to kind of go over that. So we're going to jump right into it. I'm just going to just just get into it. So, first of all, they gave us some more info on Scarlet and the name of her uh, armor here. So, as Shinra's director of advanced weaponry, Scarlet's in charge of creating the ultimate material Wu Tai wants to steal. She graciously lets Yuffie and Sonon be test subjects for the Crimson Mare, a suit of battle armor she developed and pilots herself. So, it seems that the ultimate material that we saw in the base game of Remake that like blows up when she's got her legs rested up on that one soldier, uh, that is what Sonon and Yuffie are after, it seems. Just what I imagine. Interesting how it all kind of ties together and stuff. And the Crimson Mare. This looks like it could be probably a prototype. An actual function, functioning prototype of the... Um, oh, what's that one called? Proud, Proud Clod. I know you fight um, the, the big one that's in the, the battle sim. Which could just be like a blueprint uploaded that they use to kind of test it out. And this could be like the first iteration of it actually being implemented outside of the battle sim. So it looks really cool. They show some close-up screenshots. We'll look at those here in a second. So you can actually like <coughs> really, really get into it. Uh, here's Nero. This He looks so cool. Voice by Sean Chiplock. Nero is the younger bro brother of Vice and a member of an elite unit with deep ground known as the Civets. As a result of the experiment that brought him into the world, he has the power to control darkness. <coughs> Excuse me. So he, I don't really know much about him. Um, I know that he has something to do with like void or timeline. I know whenever he was born, it like sucked his mom into another dimension or something. So that's how that's that's in his like his suit is fueled like those little lines those little white lines is like the live stream or mako it's like keeping him contained from using his powers i guess but i wonder i'm curious to see more about him but he, he he looks cool we'll, again we'll look more into his up close stuff here in a second i think there's one more uh oh yeah rama he looks oh so good so good fabled lord of levin Rama bends lightning to his will. The ability Voltaic Lance summons a lance of lightning that deals damage to nearby enemies for a short period of time, and Judgment Bolt conjures a powerful lightning storm striking enemies down. His design is just amazing. He looks so good. Let's get into the pictures so we can like actually look at him up close. Because man, they are just... Oh, it's, it's too good. Oh, here's Nero. So look at his design. He's got like these little pistols here, and his he's got wings made of like blades, I think. Again, I have I know nothing on this character. I played Dirge of Cerberus once when it came out years ago, so this is all fresh into my. Uh, it's all it's all new to me. So his, his design just looks really cool. I'm just, I'm just curious and interested as to how he's going to be implemented into the story. And I know people are freaking out because their service characters are, I get, or all of the compilation stuff is being added to remake and stuff. People are freaking out, and I just, I mean, just be patient and have faith. I'm, I have faith because all the compilation stuff wasn't really overseen by Nomura or uh, Sakaguchi or all the all the OG FF17. All the compilation stuff was like separate, right? So now they're the ones actually taking the compilation and I, I, fixing it. That's what I'd call it. And I and I have full faith that they're going to do it the proper way and not make it cringe or not make it trash or anything like that. So just just have faith and trust them. 
because the, just what we've seen so far and what we play with the remake minus the the final chapter i guess people didn't like just have faith like, everything was like perfect the game is perfect as far as like implementing og7 so i just i know i know people are freaking out over this and, and vice so I, I wonder if we want to see Rosso, Rosso, the Crimson, I think is his name. I think he's one of the other brothers. Cause there's three there. There's, there's Vice, Nero and, and Rosso. It's R O S S O. I think it's Rosso, Rosso. I forget. But I wonder if, he's, if we're going to see him in integrate as well. But he, I know in this, he's trying to free, or I, I think he's trying to free Vice or something. Will he free Vice? Will we see them more in, in Remake? Or will they just be here and be dealt with and then never never dealt with again? I don't know. I don't know, but I'm, I'm excited. I, th I think these are 4K renders as well. I don't know. Oh, I don't know. They look good. They look good. They got his mouth tape shot. I wonder why they have his mouth tape shot. I don't understand that. Just shut up. Don't talk. No speaking. Unless maybe he can speak spells or something and, and bring the void out. Although given the little purple stuff around him, I'd say he's in the process of doing something anyway. There's Scarlet and the Crimson Mayor. Looks cool. It looks like a um like a Gundam a little bit. <laughs> a little miniature Gundam. I was trying to see if there's anything in the center, like any kind of materia powering it or what, you know, just... I don't know if she's creating materia. I don't know if she's like, maybe had something in the center or somewhere to... To power it or something? I don't know. Nothing. I don't see anything, though. This boss fight's gonna be fun. This this in intermission's gonna be amazing. I can't wait. There's son on Yuffie fighting some sweeper. Oh, some boxes you feed in and destroy? What are they doing? What are they doing? I'm just kind of looking for any, any any little details here we should point out. But it looks good. It looks so good. It looks so good. I, I saw this earlier, and I, I noticed that both Sutton and Yuffie are in the air. I hope and pray that they, had, they have fixed or made the aerial combat better because in OG or I'm sorry in remake it is not good it's like one of the worst things about it to me was trying to have Cloud or Tifa hit an aerial enemy I know you're not supposed to but so they gotta do something that's it it's difficult it's difficult because there's parts like whenever you're, you're at the plate collapse and you're going up the tower and there's those those helicopter dudes they just fly around, and it's so hard to hit them unless you like use magic and stuff. <laughs> but this this looks like they're both like in the air. I wonder if they're gonna have like some kind of like lunge attack or something. I hope. Oh, oh here's a team attack. Look at the de look at the little little details. These look like the uh, the ice skating guys that are red. They're blue though. Oh, instead of a sword, I think he has like a machine gun and rockets. <laughs> Must be a, a, it's probably a stronger variant of these. I wonder if they're in deep ground here. Or if they're just in Shinra HQ. Whatever the hell. Oh, this must be the team attack. That was finished. Nice. Nice. All oh, these guys, I always, I always thought these dudes shot out um, ice <laughs> out of their things, but I think it was just bullets. <laughs> I forget what they're called though. Yeah, apologies for this. I'm congested. I'm sick. I'm getting sick. A nice little shot of Yuffie here. This must be during the boss fight of the centipede. This looks like that that area. Oh, yep, definitely, definitely centipede boss fight. Look at the, the leaves. Is that Yuffie doing that? 
Definitely got the, uh... If that's her, well, I guess I don't too, since they're both from Wutai. It's got a Wutai vibe to the abilities and stuff, with it being, like, leafy and stuff like that. Looks good. There's at least three bosses that we see, I think, in, in inter intermission. The Centipede, Scarlet, and Nero. So I wonder if I wonder if we get to fight Vice or anything. Or if we see him escape. Another sweeper. This one's got the machine guns. Nothing new there. Although this guy he has like a looks like a koi fish. I don't see his abilities though. It doesn't say what he's using. That's nothing. Oh, here's Fort Condor. I'm so excited for Fort Condor. It's gonna look so good. I did a video talking about it would be cool that if we could, as we like play through Remake Part 2 or the rest of the game, we come across other players who are also playing Fort Condor and we can get more pieces <laughs> and stuff for different pieces, almost like a collectible um, thing, and play other players and stuff throughout the world. That would be cool. I hope they do that. I hope this is not this just isn't just like a one-off time playing Fort Condor and we're done with it. Looks like we got the, the Phoenix, which is the king, I guess. And then the pawns, which are the little baby phoenixes. Materia, fire, and regen, heal, cure, heal. This is cure. Starter board. Oh, there's another board you can use. See, I, saw, I wonder if you can, like, customize it more. You got security officer, guard dog, grenade, grenade, grenadier, slug ray. These are all shitting our troops. <laughs> this is Kyrie. So we're going against Kyrie. Here. ATV speed. Oh, I wonder if we can speed this up. Or if... Hmm. I don't know. Or the higher tier people you battle, the faster, the faster it is, which makes it harder. Material lightning, and that's probably regen. Headquarters 70 and 80, 625. So the carry is a little bit stronger than Yuffie's team. I wonder if that other one is, is Sonon's board. Um, she, whoa, Kiri has more, um, more pieces than we do, too. Security officer, same. 150, also stronger. Same abilities. An elite security officer. We don't have that. An elite heli trooper. We don't have that. Or a shock trooper. Or an officer barracks. Oh, what does that do? Spawn more security officers out in the field, possibly? We've got the mono drive. An elite riot trooper. Jeez. Here he is, like stack material details sort hmm. substitute I I'm really I'm really excited to play this I can't wait like and I hated Fort Condor and Ochi was not a fan it was such a drag but seeing it here it's it just looks like so much fun so it looks like we we'll have to take out these the three rooks first, the three little baby phoenixes, then we can go back and attack the, the king right here. Or here. That's Well that's the king right there, so maybe oh, okay, I see, yeah, that's that's the king right there. Hmm. With the line the line. Yeah, I'm I'm very, very curious as to how this is gonna work. Got some new spells here too. It looks like this is different than what we were just shown. There's different. There's a different unit here too. What is that? Is that a catapult? It looks like something with the, looks like something with the gym in it. Hmm. There's a turret. Yeah. Oh, I can't wait. I can't wait. Some more of this stuff. Yeah, he's little security drone is attacking the the rook. 
or the pawn. Hmm. Uh, yeah, I, I just, I don't know. I'm so excited to play this. Oh, and here's Rama. Dude, Rama looks so good. Look at a staff. Got a little skull there. A little, little, uh, what is that? Blood diamond or ruby in the center of it? Dude, he looks just like I imagined him looking in the OG. Like, oh. This must be him using Judgment Bolt. Look how huge he is. Yeah, we're fighting Nero here. Look at that. There's Nero's wings. So we get him definitely before we fight Nero. I, I did read somewhere that uh, if we beat Hulk, I think, in here, or get the highest score in this game, we get a Materia. So I wonder if that's going to be Rama or maybe even Phoenix. We get Phoenix in Fort Condor in an OG game. So I wonder if we get Phoenix again there, or if we just get some random new Materia. It would be cool to get two summons in, in, in Intermission, Rama and Phoenix, though. That'd be cool. He's lighting Nero up. That's, that's awesome. Oh, look at this shot. His little necklace. His, look at the beard. Dude, he looks so cool. He looks so cool. I wish I was Rama. Alright, well that's all though. That's all. I just wanted to go over that. Let's run through this real quick. Make sure I didn't miss anything. Um, it arrives on PS5 on June 10th. Less than a month away. Along with enhanced visuals and performance. The game also includes episode intermission. A brand new story featuring family Yuffie Kisaragi. She's on a daring mission to steal some powerful material from the sinister Shinra Electric Power Company. Ahead of the episode's release, we thought we'd give you a sneak peek into us very Midgar, including some of the characters and who summon in a preview of the Fort Condor minigame. It's the final trailer. Avalanche allies between Midgar. Today we showcase a couple of characters who are decidedly less friendly. Oh, Nero. Nero is a member of the Svets, an elite member within Shinra's secret military group Deep Ground, the younger brother of Vice the Immaculate, who practically worships his incarcerated sibling. So he's definitely going to be trying to rescue Vice. Wonder how he gets out though. That's that's what I'm. Do we let him out? Do do they let him out to stop us? Shinra is they. Does Shinra let him out? I can't imagine them letting him out with him being so powerful. I, I he must escape somehow. Something has to happen to get him out. The experience that brought Nero into the world also left him the power to control darkness. We call him Nero the Sable, and he lives up to his name by engulfing whoever and whatever he pleases in the vast abyss. With by Sean Chiplock, Scarlet, and the Crimson Mare. Scarlet is Shinra's director of advanced weaponry and in charge of the very materia that Utai wants to steal. So they just want that one materia. When Yuffie is on an infiltrator division, she graciously lets them become test subjects for a suit of battle armor called the Crimson Mare. I mean, that's just being a good host, right? Yeah! Scarlet developed the awesome armor personally to take the pilot's seat against the heroes. They have their work cut out for them. The Crimson Mare comes equipped with interchangeable weapons such as sabers and Mako cannon. True to its name, it's more capable of painting the arena red with the blood of its foes. And of course, Scarlet's forced by Aaron Cottle, Cottrell. Hmm? Cottle. Uh, next, we'll move about how battle mechanic works and intermission for Yuffie and Sunon. It's teamwork that makes the dream work. Of course, they also have their limits. Oh, here we go. Although Sonon can't be controlled in battle, he can give he can be given order. Yeah, we knew this. Uh, what's more, with coordination, he can work with Yuffie to deliver more powerful attacks. If both characters have ATV available, pressing L2 will engage synergy with Yuffie and Sonon, allowing them to do team up attacks, allowing them to team up for special attacks that can stagger enemies more easily. Oh. So it, incre it increases their stagger bar. Synergized Art of War. Batters an enemy with a barrage of blows. And all subsequent attacks still increase damage. Oh. So it almost like makes them weaker too. It gives them like a debuff. Synergized Windstorm. Creates a gust of wind that 
hurts nearby enemies and launches them towards you. Okay. Just as in the original FF7 remake adventure, characters' limit gauges will fail to take damage. Once Yuffie and Sunon have been taken enough abuse, they will be able to unleash a devastatingly damaging attack. Yuffie's limit break is called Bloodbath, of course. I think that was her limit break in OG as well. When used, she'll unleash a flurry of blows that deal damage, large amounts of damage. Okay. And Sonon can use, utilize the limit break Dance of the Dragon. This lets the characters deliver multiple hits with a staff, dealing incredible amounts of damage to any foe unlucky enough to be on the receiving end. This is just a barrage of attacks then. Um, here we go for Condor. If you can use a break from clandestine ninja Well, let's try it again. If you can use a break from clandestine ninja work, she can check out the hot new craze in Midgar Undercity, Fort Condor. Inspire inspired by one of Shinra's military campaigns, it's a game of strategy in which two players deploy units to conquer their opponent's base and defend their own. Here's how it works. First, you select the board, which determines the number of ATB. Oh. Material available to you. You can set units you wish to deploy. So when it says board, does that mean we get different... Fort Condor boards? Is that what that means? Starter board? Or is that just your board of like who you have? I think it means who you have actually now, now that I see it. Because this one, Kyrie has a battalion board. They're both one star though. And it looks like we at least get three stars. I wonder if we get up to a third star board. We'll unlock other boards. Um, you use ATV charges to deploy a unit. Once deployed, it will march toward your opponent base and automatically engage in enemy units and encounters. Same as OG. A unit is assigned one of the three roles, Vanguard, Range, or Defense. These determines which enemies will be effective against. Basics, you know, typical. Materia can be used to cast powerful spells. Timing matters as each orb can only be used once per match. So it's up to use when it's best to use. So each Materia orb can only be used one time. For Condor is gaining massive popularity, and word on the street is, or under it, is that anyone who can beat the Grandmaster can win some rare materia. Now does that certain now does, it, does hello? Now does that sound like something a certain Wu Tai and ninja would be able to resist? So the Grandmaster, I wonder who the Grandmaster is. And then Rama. The sexy old grandma gran, sexy old grandpa. Here he is at last. Quite a few people expressed regret that the lightning launching Rama didn't make an appearance in the FF7 remake, including co-director Naoki Hamaguchi himself. <laughs> That's about to change. The fabled Lord of Levin is, a, is able to bend lightning to his will and strike enemies down. It is said that once he cast judgment on the wicked with mighty bolts and exhorted humanity will accept law and order. He'll aid our heroes in battle with some shocking skills. Voltaic Lance. Roma brings down a lance of lightning that deals damage to nearby enemies for a short time. This does DOT. Must be his basic attack and his ultimate attack. Yeah, here it is. Judgment Bolt. Um, which he'll use just before he leaves the field of battle. It conjures a spectacular lightning storm that lays waste to all the enemies on Battlefield. Uh, doo -doo -doo -doo. Hope you enjoyed the look at the intermission. You won't have long to wait for you to play it now. You can PS5 June 10th. Intermission comes included with Remake Integrate on PS5. No, but we, if you already own Remake for the PS4, physical or digital, you can download the free Final Fantasy Remake Enhancement Update. This update does not include intermission. Okay, that was my question. I was like, wait, did it, does it? No, it does not. Uh, episode intermission can be purchased separately as, as a digital download on the PS Store. Yeah, which we just did. All right, well, that about wraps it up then. Um, thanks for hanging out. I hope you're excited as I am. June 10th cannot get here soon enough. We have... 
30 days? 20 days? 20 days. It's, it's 19, 19th as of this recording. So, not much longer. So, let, let's, let's get some hype, bro. Alright, that's going to be it for me. Thanks for hanging out. Sorry this is so long. This is way longer than I was intended it to be. Uh, if you're interested, I'm going to start a series on Fridays of uh, Final Fantasy X. I'm going to be streaming a um, Wheel of Destiny run of FF10. Uh, here are some of the things that will be on the wheel. I'll spend it every day I play it, and this will be my... Well, actually, this is not on there. But this will be the things that will hinder my uh, playthrough for that day. If you think of anything else that we should be added here, let me know. I'm excited. I'll be on. I'll be streaming it on Twitch and posting a shorter version on YouTube on Fridays. Um, so I'll be starting on Twitch Thursday, tomorrow, or I guess today, since today's Thursday now. But yeah, we do on Thursday. If you're interested, come hang out at Twitch.tv/slash Dustman1028. I stream there every night. Or most nights, uh, starting at about 11 p.m. Eastern. We'll be, we'll be starting this tomorrow. All right, we'll see you later. Peace out. Thanks for watching.